Coming from across, uh, walking across the Western Mall Plaza, um, uh, yes, the shaded area once again, the exposed section of the Western Mall. Uh, uh, the first thing I shared with you was the Wilson Arch. Uh, we just came from Ward's Gate. Where we're standing now, we're very close to where we're at today. Um, the uh, um, Antonio uh, Fortress uh, would have been, okay, and the Northern okay. Uh, people, my question to the team, can you not distinguish it on your own the difference between an individually oriented stone and natural bedrock smoothed down to make it appear to be as if it's an individually oriented stone? People, we have reached the Antonio Hill. This is it. If we cut back to this bridge in another seven yards, it ends all two together. Um, <clears throat> you're getting a perfect glimpse of the uh, building technique. They would predetermine the size of the quarry stone that they want, cut niches on all sides of it. Uh, inside the niches, place the wooden log. Uh, that's right, before knocking off work at the end of the day, pour water over the log. You know what would happen, the food quick through of night air, the logs would absorb the water. The following morning, once again, the karate chop, you've got your predetermined uh, uh, quarry, uh, predetermined size quarry. Uh, stone. Uh, check out the double um, columns uh, placed in the stone wall. The stone wall was added many, many, many centuries after uh, Herod. Uh, the pillars themselves are Herodian. They appear to be as if they were placed upside down. No, this is how Herod designed his uh, pillar. We'll never know what Herod's uh, original and intention was. That is to say, either leave this street as it is, is a narrow street, or perhaps expanded it into another wide uh, plaza area, who knows, maybe even add another row of uh, temple shops. Why is that? Every great building project needs a great builder. With the death of Herod the Great, the expansion uh, and work uh, ended. Uh, there's really no reason in the world for these people not to assume that Jesus himself would have walked on the same uh, as a uh, street of uh, big uh, slab. Where I'm pointing now is open area. Yes, that's the water canal. And what's left of the McAfee uh, water system. Remember, as opposed to Herod, they did not expand uh, the, the temple, uh, but rather built their own palace here. In order to have drinking water, they trapped the run of uh, rainwater from Jerusalem, held it in their storing pool, and then transported it via the bed actual gun, distributing it along the way in four water systems. Once again, Herod's expansion plan is interfered with him. He cut that back, and the Maccabees' former holding pool became his uh, defense mode around his unemployment. Okay, for many, many, many years, this was the end of the end of the title tour. Uh, the, the hour could be uh, either uh, 7 o'clock in the morning or 11 o'clock at night. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, come to the round of me and we exit. And now in 1998, a very simple, logical, rational idea of adding that exit gate to have a better flow of the gesture traffic. Um, how ironic. It was the adding of that um, exit gate, okay, uh, that started uh, the the, uh, the troubles. Uh, but why ironic? Because in another seven yards, we're going to go up a ladder. No, that's not ironic. <laughs> At the top of the ladder, we're going to take a left-hand turn. And from that moment on, with every additional step we take, we're only getting one step further from modern man uh, tunnels running alongside and parallel to ancient man made uh, retaining the walls. In fact, we'll be walking through the back of these first century BC uh, aqueduct. Uh, that's when the back of these built it. Captain Warren already did, discovered it in the 1860s. All the archaeologists had to do is sweep it up, add fluorescent life, and the exit door. Uh, and with every additional step that we'll be taking, we're only getting one step away from Muslims' door. But there you have it. 
we're not going to exit through the exit gate because it's not suitable for, uh, for our quick getaway. Our buses will be picking us up at the gate, so we will turn around in fact and, and retrace our steps and exit uh, uh, to that. But I'm going to give you uh, uh, an option. And if uh, some of you, enough is enough already, I get it, I get it. Uh, you have the option of staying here. Uh, for those of you who would like to uh, uh, follow me through the tri Maccabean uh, Aqueduct, uh, I will take you there. At one point, it's a little bit tight, so and, but only if you suffer big time from claustrophobia would that be uh, an issue for you. We'll check out the aqueduct, <laughs> the Struthian boat, we'll turn around, retrace our steps, and anyone who stays back here as a former Southern gentleman, I promise you, will pick you up on the way back. All right, we got a game plan. But prior to all of that, I'm a little bit concerned. You people and, and gave up the option of walking back to the hotel, uh, following Kenton and walking by foot to the hotel. We're going to travel in style with the bus. As a result, I'm afraid some of you may not be getting enough exercise. So what I suggest is follow me um, up this staircase, a short but informative audio-visual presentation. Yeah. Yeah. Just to create that extra edge there. Water runs off it. Well, look, this is where the water goes oh, down. Oh, this is your uh, this is your water channel right here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the patting on the head. It's amazing. Look at that. This is incredible. Walter. Let me see. Whew. Thank you for the bumper. I think some people may have hit their head on this. Once or twice. Cistern. Goldfish? The difference between walking alongside a modern man made tunnel, uh, running adjacent to an ancient man made tunnel, we just walked through an ancient man made uh, aqueduct. Okay? Uh, once again, we're now standing at what certain faculties that are fully incorporated by uh, uh, Herrick to be his uh, festival around his employment. If our eyes could only see through stone walls, uh, and yes, at the time of terror, this was an open air um, um, a, a pool. Uh, later, uh, the uh, roofing above us was added, and even at a later date, uh, this uh, stone wall um, in front of us. People, if our eyes could only see through stone walls, we would see the second half of this uh, water system that's located two floors below the basement of the Sisters of Zion Tanti Home of Church in Sunday. A proof positive when we were in Pontius Pilate's judgment place, we were standing in what remains of the fully tortured. We're now standing once again in what remains of the fully tortured. Uh, so you see, um, 
not 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 on the issue of the the exit gate. It is rarely a part of in fact an exit right along the heart of the, the Muslim quarter, the row of shops, uh, where the, the sales would stand outside uh, holding up the uh, the prayer shop uh, built by the Maccabees in the first century of BC, rediscovered by Captain Warren in 1867.